an outside source. This is our history. I am teaching you my people's history. What you're trying hold to on, do is on, not please. allowing hold me on, to bring up I my history. But listen to what I'm saying to you. If we're in the scriptures right here and it's a prophecy, let's deal with the prophecy. I don't want you to go and tell me about somebody else to get around the iron because there's enough context in this chapter. Yes. Enough. And again, so we don't need to go on outside sources. Okay, then. So, you then, agree? Okay, so then you agree that that the natives of this land had yokes upon um, of iron around their necks, then? Yes. Okay, then. Then I won't have to use my source. So then, what does that make the Thank native? You. Okay, so okay, so now that's another. So why did you want to to go to that curse? Well, because you got to understand, forty eight matches up with sixty eight. Of course it does, but again, I'm, I'm, the thing that okay, you have. So to, this is my question. This then is, this is the when thing. was your nation yoke of iron put around your neck you and you were put on ships and brought to another nation? Thank you. Uh, 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 again, I was going to read it for you, but you just stopped me. You just no, stopped me. On, and hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 you no, just stopped me from doing it. You just no, stopped me from doing it. No, you just stopped me from doing it. But now you're no, asking no, the same I'm question again. You, when you just when no, you no, just agree that it did happen. Let me finish. You're you're edifying me. Allow me to ask the question. Thing. But you uh, but you just made the statement that that didn't happen to us. That's what you just said, that that didn't happen. You guys didn't have yokes of iron and that you guys saying, didn't. I'm just, I didn't say that, King. You're getting frustrated. I'm just asking you a simple question because it says in 68 that when they put the yoke of iron around your neck, they were going to put you on ships. That is, and it does not, it does not, oh, let it me does finish, not King. say that King, in 68. King, come on, man. I'm going to hang up, man. Yeah. I give you all the respect. I allow you to speak and read whatever you want. I get to the point where I said, I really want to understand and be edified on your understanding. And I'm saying, allow me to ask the questions that I need to be edified on, not what you think I need to be edified on. So again, I'm going to ask you the question. If 48 is part of the prophecy that they were going to put a yoke of iron around your neck, right? In and your they were going to put you on a cargo spaceship. And they were going to put you on auction box. I'm asking, did that happen to your nation? It didn't, uh, first of all, Deuteronomy 68 doesn't say what you're saying right now. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Listen it, to what I'm asking you. It right. doesn't say that. Okay. It doesn't say, it, but it yeah. doesn't say that. You're asking okay. a question. Could you, it, could you read it? Could you read it? And yes. Break it down for yes. Me, I'm, going to read, I I'm going to read 40. Please. I'm going to read 48 again. And I want to see where the hell you're getting slave ships from. Because verse 49 is talking about a nation coming to your land. It has nothing to do with anything about slave ships yet. I understand. But so let's read in context, brother. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Well, you have to read in I, context. And I told you that before we begin, I said I was going to start at 48 because you start at 49. And I was going to ask you a few questions. You're going to edify me on it. Why are you getting upset? Again, the reason why I okay, got upset. So my question, so my question, so you could clearly hear me and, and understand me and edify me. We read 48. And I said it matched up with 68, and you said, no, it doesn't. It's totally different. And I said, please take me to 68 and break it down because my understanding is you saying is a misunderstanding okay, of the scripture. Then. Okay, can I read 68 now? That's what, that's what I'm trying to do, brother. I'm trying yeah, to read the ahead. scriptures. Okay, thank you. Verse thir um, is, says 68. Is 68 a part of the prophecy? 68, of course it is. Of course okay, it is. Okay, go ahead. And it says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof mm. I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning this is only going to happen one time. And there you shall see, be. See what no more? You going back into a slave ship back to Egypt. That's what you're not going to see anymore. You mean that see, I'm going into Egypt and I won't see my homeland again? No, because in this okay. chapter, again, because in this chapter, Israel is not even in the land of Canaan yet. They haven't even taken it out. What Moses is doing here is giving you stipulations that, hey, this is what's going to happen after we take over the land of Canaan, the land that the Most High is going to give us to possess. But the whole point is, it says, and thou shalt bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way with, with, whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt not see it no more again. What are you not going to see no more again? being taken on a slave ship 
back to Egypt. Did Joseph and his did Joseph family take a ship into Egypt? Did Yahweh take a ship into Egypt, or did he take uh, donkeys? Um, Israel went back into Egypt with slave ships. All right, let's clarify some stuff. Let's say Mizraim, because Egypt is synonymous with bondage. But the place that we're talking about actually was named Mizraim. Do you agree? It says Egypt here. Mizraim yes, means the same thing. Yes, but I understand. Thing. But we are clarifying some stuff then. Yeah, it's the same thing. Same thing. Mizra Mizraim is Egypt. Okay, so it's synonymous with bondage because we know that Egypt in, in Genesis is, 10, oh, yes. it was named Mizraim. Yes, but is Egypt, an, is, Egypt, is Egypt an actual place also? Listen to what I'm saying, King. Yes, it is, but listen to what I'm saying. In Genesis 10, when he named all the son of Ham, he named Mizraim. He never named Egypt. But in this scripture, it's synonymous with bondage. That's no. what I'm saying. If I'm wrong, you that's, clarify. That's, uh, again, and I'm clarifying you. With, no, it is not okay. being synonymous with bondage. It is actually talking what about... It's actually talking about the actual location, Egypt. So I'm telling, I'm asking this question. At biblical time, they took a ship into Egypt. Could you show me that in scripture? Thank you. I would love to. Let's, uh, it's in the third book of Maccabees. Hold on. Mm, can I get out of here? Yes, I can. Let's go to the third book of Maccabees. Okay. Hold on. Why was this so freaking annoying? Third book of Maccabees. I believe it's chapter four. <laughs> Let's get in the list. Say again. Are you showing me the northern kingdom or the southern kingdom? I'm showing you all of Israel. I mean, that's exactly what the Septuagint says. Hold on. My watch how they're working kind of slow. You know, as we spoke earlier, that the children of Israel was created in Egypt, not took a ship? Nope. You know they, that, right? Yeah, they, they, they walked. We all know. Now, listen to what I'm saying. Hold on, King. Hold on. We agree that Joseph had the 12 sons in Egypt, correct? Right? In Egypt? The Israelites wasn't before they were in Egypt. That's the first time that you heard of the Israelites, right? Coming out of Egypt, yes, as a nation. Okay, so then, were you going to get a scripture to show me that these people went into Egypt by ship if they were created in Egypt? All I'm showing you right now is Deuteronomy 28, 68 being fulfilled in the scripture. That's all I'm doing yes. right now. Okay. You understand my question, though? If Israel was created in Egypt, how can they take a ship to Egypt? You can't explain that. That's dumb shit. Excuse my language, sir. Well, again, don't go there with me. Again, we're going to read a scripture. I don't care what your opinion is. We're going to see what okay, the scripture right. says, because you're saying that they didn't go back oh, to yeah, Egypt it's, in a ship. No, it's common, it's common sense. It's not common it's, sense, because you're going against common, scripture. That's why. Okay. Okay, if the children of Israel was created in Egypt, they can't take a ship into Egypt. Stop it. What you're, what you're doing is not making no sense. I'm showing you Deuteronomy 28, 68 being fulfilled. I apologize. Fulfilled. Go ahead, teacher. Go ahead, read the scripture. I apologize. It just didn't make sense to me. Go ahead, King. All right. Uh, the Jews deported to Alexandria. Mac, third book. Third Maccabees chapter four, and in every place then where this decree arrived, a feast at public 
expense was arranged for the Gentiles with shouts of gladness for the arbitrary enmity that had long ago been in their mind was now made evident and outspoken. But among the Jews, there was an incest mourning, lamentation, tearfulness, cries. Everywhere their hearts were burning and their groans because of the expectation, the, un, the unexpected destruction that has suddenly been decreed for them. What district or city or what habitable he, he, place at all or what the streets were not filled with mourning and wailing for them? For with such a harsh and ruthless spirit were they being sent off all together by the generals in the in the several cities that at the sight of the unusual punishment even some of their enemies perceived the common object of pity before their eyes reflected on uncertainty of life and shed tears at the most miserable miserable expulsion of these people for a multitude of gray air old men sluggish bent with age was being led away forced to march at a swift pace by the violence with which they were driven in such a shameful manner and young men who just who had just entered the bridal chamber to share marriage life exchange joy with wailing their mirth performed performed hair sprinkled with ashes and were carried away unavailed altogether raising a, la a laminate instead of a wedding song as they were torn by the harsh treatment of the heathen in bonds and in the public view, they were violently dragged along as far as a place of embarkation. Their husband, in the prime of his youth, their necks encircled with ropes instead of garlands, spent the, men, the remaining days of their marriage festival in lamentation instead of good cheer and youthfulness. Reverently seeing death immediately before them, they were brought on board like animals like wild animals driven under constraint of iron bonds there's israel right there being taken on on ships with iron bonds okay so were fastened by the neck to the bench what of year? bench of the boats others had this is in the time of the maccabees about what time uh give me a year Let's look up the time of the Maccabees. Hold on. Is that Israel, you know, Israel became a nation in Egypt. They went somewhere and then have to take a ship back into Egypt. So I want to know what time and what place they came from. Because obviously they're not in Egypt. They had to go somewhere else to come back to Egypt by ship. So that's my misunderstanding. That's why I'm just, I'm just lost, man. Um, so tell me when they left Egypt, and where did they go, and I, what year did they come back to Egypt? Have you so have they, you read the Book of Maccabees? Um, not that very. Okay, it was around the time of the no. Greek. It was around the time of the Greek but, but captivity. But it's not about. It's not about. It's not about me. It's not about me knowing. It's about. It's not about me knowing the scriptures. It's a simple question, Kim. Let me ask the question was, again. It was. Are you going to give me a time, up. a place where Israel left Egypt and had to be brought back by ships? The Exodus is when. Where, where, okay, the Exodus. Were. The Exodus. Yeah is when Israel yeah. left Egypt. The right they went back into Egypt on slave ships, just like we just read in the book of third book of Maccabees chapter four. Just so, like, hold on, just like Deuteronomy 28 and 68, how Moses said would happen, that you would go back to Egypt on ships and be sold into slavery. This was already I'm fulfilled, that. brother. I'm with that. Okay, and I'm all I'm showing you in throughout the scripture how it was fulfilled through the scripture. Deuteronomy okay. twenty-eight and sixty-eight. Now, oh, the point is, I wanted to okay, bring. So, so you said during the time of Maccabees, right? That's when so that was. Do you fulfilled. have a location? Do you have? Can you educate me on, uh, let's say, about where were they? 
when did they go back to Egypt? Mom, did they go back as a nation, as a southern kingdom, northern kingdom? It said, hold on, let's go back to the thing. Hold on, where is it? Where was it? Maccabees? Where was I? What verse? Um, oh, what are you doing? Because it seemed like the article or, or what you're reading is, is, is contradicting the scriptures. This is the scripture. That's what I'm reading. Yo. Maccabees. I understand, but I'm just saying that's the confusion. I don't want to say the scriptures are, confused, are, are contradicting itself. I'm just saying what you're saying to me, I'm not computing because I'm saying to you, I know the place was called Mizraim. Israel became a nation in Egypt. You're saying they left Egypt and had to be brought back by ships. Yes. Is my understanding. Yes, that that's is it. That's, yes, that's yes. exactly what Deuteronomy 28 and 68 and Moses is saying. Where were they taken from to go back to Egypt, sir? They were during the time of Maccabees, they were under the Greek captivity. So they were So from they were taken from, from Greece no, back to Egypt. No. That okay. was the time period. That's all I'm showing you. In the time of the Maccabees. Which were they were under that's the, when the Greeks that's when the Greeks rule, right? That's when the Greeks were in power. Yes. And Israel wasn't only just in Greece, Israel's already scattered to other nations also. But they were brought to But Israel. you're telling me we didn't have an encounter with the Greeks until you know way later. After Egypt, right? After Babylon, after all those places, right? We're already the Book of Maccabees is already past Babylon and everything historically. So you're trying to you're trying to explain a captivity coming from Greece. No, I am talking about right? a time you period. Said that put in, excuse me. It was a time period, not necessarily Greece, because not all of Israel was in Greece. Okay, so I'm asking because what place were they taken from? They were taken uh, from. Can they, we say, they were. Can we, can, so for, 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 for let the conversation go on, they were taken from Greece under bondage and brought back to Israel. To Egypt. To, to Egypt, my bad. Mizraim. Mizraim. Because that's what the scriptures say, right? Mizraim. So if somebody came along later and write Egypt because that's his understanding, that's his misunderstanding because we read the scripture in Gen Genesis 10 that his son name was Mizraim. Which later became Egypt. Just like, I hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother, 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 no, it's not an interpretation because the scripture, it's, an English, it's is not Egypt an English, is Egypt is Egypt an uh, English language? No, Egypt, hold on, again, the land of Egypt is all throughout the scripture. Just like when you see the Canaan, hold on, Egypt, hold on, 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 hold on. Listen to no, me. No, hold on, wait because a minute, because I'm going to debunk your logic. No thing, thing. Let me speak. I'm going to debunk your logic, because what you're asking is very serious. Just because okay, it was called misery. I'm speak and understand so you can properly debunk it. But go ahead, man, I'll let you speak. Exactly, Maybe. just because it, it, it it was called Mizraim. They later on became Egypt. We see that throughout the scriptures, throughout history, even according to the scriptures. Yeah. So let's not say but that Egypt. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just like, hold on. I'm, 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 I'm answering your question English. about Egypt and Mizraim. I'm asking you. I'm answering you right here. Just like no, you have listen, Canaan. Let me ask you. The, let me ask you a question. Okay. So if the place was called Mizraim. And during the time of the Greeks or Alexander or whoever came and called this place Egypt, if you and I know that when we go back to the original Tunisian and all those languages, there's no vowels. Again, again, the other nations didn't write our scriptures. This is a Hebrew text. No, and in the Hebrews no, wrote, what I'm saying. In the this Hebrews what I'm saying. wrote, Egypt is a Caucasian name of the place Egypt by a European tongue because we don't have ball markers back in our language. But we have Mizraim. That is a Hebrew word for Egypt. So later on, when it says, if Egypt began by ships, 
We got to look at the context. Maybe it means something else. No, it, it actually means what it means. It's also synonymous with bondage, right? You agree? Egypt is also synonymous with, with bondage. When you look up Egypt, uh, synonymous, it says bondage, right? It can mean synonymous with bondage, but Egypt is an actual place also, which you already agree to. Uh, I under, but I'm asking a question. Bro. Oh, go ahead and teach, man. I'm just... I'm okay, just, just you know. like Canaan, right? Canaan had multiple nations, right? You have the Hittites, the Jerbicites, the, the Prezerites, all, all different type of na uh, different nations, and it's in the Hebrew text. The Hebrews yeah, wrote, it, wrote it down to be Egypt. Let me help you out. Okay? The Mizraim was turned into Egypt, or Egyptian. Before, before he got there, that place was called Sudan before he cut it up and named that continent after their son. It was called Sudan. Reggie, come on. Anyways, can we, okay, uh, this, uh, uh, again, I already, I already showed the scripture where Deuteronomy 68 was filled. Can we move on to the scriptures? This, this is my argument. This is my argument. You're bringing up as, as something to explain that the children of Israel left Egypt went somewhere into Greece, and then went back into bondage. Is I, I, that what you're saying? No, I did not say, I already said that already four times. No, no. I just gave a time period. It was around the Greek captivity. But when you read it, it, it didn't sound sweet. It sounds like they went under bondage, but not the hard bandage as, as a transatlantic slave trade. If you want to read it again, it yes. says they were treated harshly. Am I correct? They were treated, yes, brutally. They were weeping. They were being, the men were, ta well, the men were um, being taken out of their bedroom chambers and weren't even allowed to sleep with their new brides. That's what they're saying. They were weeping, yes. It was, it was yes. They were going under bondage again, and it tells you that even on these ships, that they had yokes, yokes around their necks and tied to the bottom of the ships. I just read it for you. And this is thousands of years before the transatlantic slave trade. This is I this is Israel's this history is now. This is not a prophecy. That's, this right, what we're reading no, right, right is, now is not a prophecy. This is the history. It is the, exactly this. This is the third book of Maccabees telling you what happened to Israel. And it tells you oh, that I'm under the not, I'm not under in with the scripture, I'm just asking you a question. Okay, well, I'll, that's all I'm showing you right now is that under this scripture, this is when the Egyptians made a law to go and gather up Israelites to put them in slavery and bring and bring them to Alexandria and other places in Egypt or in Mizraim for them to be sold. That's what this chapter is about. What is that speaking like? Were well, we sold in Egypt? No, you weren't sold. Then what are you saying? First of all, even let's let's read something in Deuteronomy twenty-eight and sixty-eight. Oh, and there you should be sold unto your enemy, yes, bomb man and bit, and no man should buy you. You no man's gonna buy you. Just like right here, they went there. I'm gonna, that's what I'm saying. You don't want these scriptures to come out because this answers sixty-eight. Sixty-eight tells you that 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 that, that after these the, the, you were taking off these boats. That you will go into slavery and be sold, but no man will buy you. You weren't bought. This is what I'm trying to tell you. 68 has nothing to do with the transatlantic slave trade. Because you guys were bought. Everybody was buying you over here in the Americas. The French, the Dutch, the Portuguese, the Spaniards, the English. You guys were sold yeah, on auction blocks. But we're talking about where you're saying that we go back from the Greek time, the time of Alexander, took us as a nation back to Egypt, Mizraim, to be sold as bondmen and bondwomen. But no we, man. Hold on, hold on. Were we sold in Egypt? No, and this in the third book of Maccabees, when oh, they did, man. when they brought you to Egypt, they tried to, but you guys weren't being sold, just like Deuteronomy sixty-eight says. But no man shall buy you, just like I the know, third book of Maccabees is saying. 
Yeah, but hold on, Tim. But you Tim guys has... were sold, so therefore, your transatlantic slave trade has nothing to do with either the third book of Maccabees or Deuteronomy 28 and 68. So you're telling me that the Greeks put us in bondage, put York of iron around our neck, brought us back to Egypt, and we were sold as bond men and bond women. No. So it's let's go back. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because what you're forgetting, in 68 there was other curses. So if we read those curses, are we going to match it up with Egypt, sir? No, because... Again, okay, so stop. No, because uh, brother, sh brother, let me answer the question. No, you bro, keep answering it, but whatever time I'm trying to answer it, you will you keep interrupting me and keep asking more stupid questions. You're not allowing me to answer anything, brother. You said you want to learn, you, then what you, you need to do is you, quiet you, you your mouth, answer. and now I'm going to answer your questions. Because again, Deuteronomy from 15 to verse 63, all of these curses are happening in your land. These curses are not happening in your enemy's land, in somebody else's land, in your friend's land. It is happening in your land. From verse 63, so, uh, from, from verse, Egypt. From Egypt verse, not in land. verse 64 through 68 is that those is what's going to happen in your enemy's land. You are going to be scattered and things of that nature. That is not happening in your land. But you were scattered from your land. That's what and verse 63 says. Do you want us to go into the curses? That, that's in Deuteronomy because what I'm trying to say is I'm not disregarding Maccabees. I'm just saying you're bringing something that contradicts what we're talking about because you're saying, no, we weren't sold in Egypt. Uh, yeah, you're taken into ships, but I don't know where. Uh, I mean, come on. Again, I already showed you the scripture. You can just, again, again, this is just for edif edification purposes. For the people who are watching this video to read the scriptures for themselves. Because they're very, a lot of people, because a lot of people claim, because a lot of people claim they read scriptures, but they don't read scriptures. They're liars. I know. That's all I'm but trying to I'm tell gonna you. I'm going to read a couple also prophecies that should happen. Okay, then. But again, let's, let's, let's stick, stick to scripture then. But, but what I won't do is you ask me a question, and then when I attempt to answer it, you interrupt me, and then you keep asking more questions. And then when I try to answer those questions again, you keep interrupting me again. You're not allowing me to bring out the scriptures to answer your question. I don't want to answer you with my vain opinions. I want to answer know, you, you with the scripture. Teacher, you got to be more patient. If your student is excited and want to ask questions, you got to know how to humble yourself as a teacher. And under the situation, all you're doing it right now is not is not to you understand. And I'm just saying you're a better person, right? So let's act like it. I hear a child in the back. Treat me like you teach a child, okay? Like you teach her how to grow up. You teach him the scriptures, right? Okay, fine. Absolutely. Okay, right, so, right, so go okay. ahead. So again, Deuteronomy 28. What curses you want to yes. bring out again? Because again, all the curses we well the curses I brought us so far, you already admitted that it happened to the natives of this land. So okay, yes, but I'm just so saying that would make, you're reading so from that 49 make, to 52. That would make, and I'm just saying that would make the group was up to 60. again, on, okay. brother. Again, I'm let me read the scriptures out. You keep okay. saying, but let me do it. That's the whole point. It's not just 49 to 53. The whole chapter is about native history. But That's what I'm going to show you. Question. Okay, bring out a curse. There you go. Because you try to bring out the yokes of iron, and then when I, then you ask me, and everybody's going to hear, hear you on the recording asking me, oh, but when do you guys have yokes of iron? When do you guys put on slave ships? But then when I want to read you our history, you didn't allow me to do it. No, to no, no. I, no, no. We both agreed that we didn't need to because there was sufficient okay, uh, information so you, okay, so you in, know this, that. in this chapter. Okay, let me ask you a question, please. Now, we have some prophecies that when you're in this land, yeah, a certain thing like uh, your daughter will be taken and sold, your wife would be ravished, uh, certain prophecies also in this scripture that is not matching up with what you're saying, King. Okay? What, what, what am I saying? You're not allowing me to say anything. We didn't, we, you brought, know, but, right but, now you just brought no, out a you, right now you just brought out a curse. Hold on. You just brought out a curse again. You just brought out a curse that I believe is verse um 
you said about, about, about not enjoying our lives, right? Um, 32, mm -hmm. right? You just quoted, you just quoted, you didn't read it, but you just quoted 32, which is in the curses. Okay? Yes, but, but, but this is what but that's saying. the whole point, brother. You brought, this, you brought these curses to Egypt. So I'm trying to find out when was these prophecies fulfilled in Egypt. That's all. Of course it wasn't fulfilled in Egypt. This is not America. This is we going back into Mizraim from Greece, right? No, verse 6. So these prophecies have to match up with what you're saying. So that's why I'm saying let's be slow. Let's take it easy. If you have to go, you have to go. But I'm just saying we have to look at the prophecies that's also in the full chapter for us to come to that conclusion. But again, you go, but, 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 uh, uh, but again, 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 all you're doing but, is keep talking, but you don't want to read the damn scripture, brother. You're keep all you're doing is keep talking. Let's go to the okay. scripture and let's read it. Let's reason, right? Fine. Let's go. Thank you. Deuteronomy 28. What curse would you want to bring up? We could go anywhere. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I could go to my curses if you want, but I will allow you to bring up curses that you feel like your people fit, and then I will ask you a simple question to, to prove it. That's all I'm going to do. Because Deuteronomy 28, verse, um, verse 46 says, And these shall be upon you for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. This is how we know who the Israelites are not. That, that you should be able to look at your history and match it up with these curses. And I could do that. But what I'm trying to say is, when I try to match up these prophecies and these curses, I can't see it in Egypt. Because most of the prophecies say, I didn't, I didn't say. I didn't say it was Egypt. Again, you're not even listening. You, you, you claim you want to learn, but you're not even listening. I said verse no, 68. Right, right now, hold on, thing, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right now, I believe the conversation, and we need to chill, because you believe that way. I'm not. I'm still the same person. I'm eager to ask questions, right? But what I'm trying to say is we need to stop, because there's other prophecies that's in here that's not fulfilling. It wasn't fulfilled in Africa, would you say correct? So those would be false prophecies. But when we come to the transatlantic slave trade, I'm going to show you these prophecies. So I'm going to allow you to finish and show me how these prophecies was fulfilled, where your daughter will be sold. Nobody was sold like you agree. Again, you were no, in, nowhere, no, nowhere in Deuteronomy 28 does it say that. Sir, bro, listen, let me speak. We were servants in Egypt. It wasn't like it was a transatlantic slave trade. Nobody was coming in and raping your wife. Nobody was selling your daughter at six. That's what I'm saying, man. Okay, again, you're saying that the when the Europeans came here, they didn't rape our women and stuff like that. Is that what you're really saying? Okay. Obviously, we're, we're mixed up. I think we're in a transatlantic slave trade, or we're still going into. No, we're Egypt. just talking about. We're, we're just talking about again. We're talking about Deuteronomy twenty-eight because who we are talking about and what nation Egypt, of people are fitting see. these hold curses. On, King. King, hold on. What I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to ask you, and you show me where these prophecies or these curses was fulfilled in Egypt. I didn't That's say that. We're, I, I, again, you're making a straw man argument. I never said that these curses happened in Egypt. Again, I've but never said on. that. You're saying on, things that I have on. never said. We went, six, we went to 68. You that was the end, and, that. the, and that's the end we of the chapter. To. That's what the end that? of the chapter. Yes, listen, we went to Deuteronomy 28. We did our stuff. We got to 68. You said you're misunderstanding, and I'm going to clarify it with my apocrypha. I'm going into the Maccabees. And you said these prophecies was fulfilled when we went back into Egypt. I said Again, that this? verse 68 was fulfilled in the book of Maccabees. I did not say oh, all oh, the curses oh, of Deuteronomy oh, 28 was oh, oh, fulfilled bad, in the bad. Maccabees. Only six. Only 68 was fulfilled in the Maccabees. Of course, because like I said, my whole contention was 
from the beginning, when we read verse 68, was that this was going to happen one time, one time only. That Egypt, I mean, that Israel was going to go back to physical Egypt on a slave ship. And when they got there, they were going to be sold, but no man bought them. Just like the book of Maccabees says verbatim. Okay, well, I'm going to get off of it because I'm just trying to say is when we read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, there's curses in there that should follow the prophecy. Am I correct? I'm trying to prove to you that if you went with your logic, it makes no sense because these things didn't happen. But now it let's did bring it. Happen put it in your again, it did hold happen, up, hold up. but I'm it did happen it. according to we're Jewish history. We're going to cut it. I'm going to bring it to you, and we're going to come to the transatlantic slave trade and go ahead, Kay. I we're transatlantic slave uh, trade now. We're done with Egypt. Okay, we're done I'm, with all that. Okay, we're so you to want to talk world. about the transatlantic slave trade. That's what you want to talk about. Yeah, because I can't okay, talk then. to let's you about to, 68. Hold on, hold on. This is a problem I have. we got to let it go because of this. Let me, let me clarify something. We're letting... Deuteronomy go because you're telling me from 1 to 67 it's all good but 68 take that out that's Egypt I don't know what the hell you're talking about the whole chapter you're telling me from 1 uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 one, verse 15 hold up, hold up man bro well, how are you how are you but you're talk, you're you're you're, talk, you're putting words in my mouth you're saying that I'm telling you no I'm telling you cuz I'm the person speaking that 15 through 63 all those curses that you read from 15 to 63 happened in your land whether it is in the land of Canaan which is Israel or in the land of Arzareth Verse 60, this is what 64. I'm trying to say is, we have 68 chapters in Deuteronomy 28. Scriptures, right? 68? You're saying we should go from 1 to 67 and 2 or 68. Because that won't happen. That's the Maccabee. That's just only 68. No. All throughout the... Okay. Oh, even, again, Israel went through the curses under the Babylonians under the uh, under, yes okay okay so even the scriptures daniel's all the other prophets say that they were under the curses at some point but we know that the northern kingdom didn't go get a chance to go through those curses because they were taken away by the assyrians and after the Assyrian captivity they went and dwelt where, where no man um, was dwelling at or the grecians Or the Grecians. The Grecians is a nation. People from Greece. And I said, who are they? People from Greece. Okay. Now, when we go to Job, it says the children of Israel were sold on to the Grecians. Okay, now show me how you were so sold to the Grecians. Is, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I don't, I don't, I, so I, this is I've where, never let read. Let me finish, King, please. No, but I, this, is where I wanna match, this is where I want to match up my prophecy now. And I'm telling you, it's impossible. Because this is it's a historical it's, fact. And it's impossible. Right? It's impossible. No, King, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you trying to say, like you just said, the Grecians are people from Greece. In Joel, the third chapter, it says that the children of Israel was fallen on to the Grecians, and they took them across the border. Yes. Now, the show, now, what I want you to do is show me any outside source or any part of your history from West Africa, the translated slave trade, that the nation of Greece went to Africa and did these things to you. Well, because I know y'all. First of all, no European went to Africa and took y'all. The Africans yep. took y'all and sold y'all to the uh, sold y'all to the so-called white man. Let me explain to you again. Okay. All I'm trying to say to you is, I just want to start with the history that I know, and well, it starts with and the again, you're, And again, I ask, and again, the Grecians doesn't make sense. Listen to what I'm asking. Brother, said, did, did, did not the spe the, hold on, hold on, brother, you said the trans on, brother, please, you said man. the Joel three was about the transatlantic slave trade. I, now what okay, I want to so, now what I want to ask you is we know that the Spaniards bought you, 
the Portuguese bought you, the French bought you, the English bought you. Now, my question to you is, none of those nations are the Greeks. That's what are I'm trying Greeks, to tell you. Are the Greeks? Are the Greeks the Arabs? No, the Greeks, Ar Arabs are, are many nations. The, the, the Arabs, the the Arabs are many nations. Et Stop. There's a specific ethnic group with a goddamn phenotype. So hold the hell up. It doesn't They're say Esau, brother. It doesn't say Esau. Of the Ishmael. It doesn't, you hold on. It doesn't say Esau. Every Bridget, Bridget, I never said anything about Esau. We're talking about an ethnic group. Okay? You're talking about a nation, you know not an ethnic group. You're talking about a nation. Okay. Is a nation also an ethnic group? You're, no, what you're trying to do is make one nation all white nations. No, that is a lie. You are adding to Torah. Torah, Deuteronomy chapter 4 says that's what I add to this word. It says that the Greeks, this is the Greeks that, that, that bought you from Tyrus and Sidon. Now I'm asking you, show me an outside source of the Tyrese and Sidon, which are Canaanites, selling you Negroes to the nation of Greece. I don't need to get an outside source. Because, because you guys weren't sold to the Greece. That's the whole point. You guys were sold to the Spaniards. You guys were sold to the Portuguese. You guys were sold to the English. Again, not the Greece. So um, my question is, why are you using Joel 3 that has nothing to do with your transatlantic slave trade? You won't let me speak. You won't let me finish. If you say, Pope, you cut me off. Oh, oh, it feels funny now, right? When, when it happens when you're doing the De Deuteronomy 28. But go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Explain to me. Just, explain to me how Joel three. No, it's not. No. Uh, well, that was my. I'm asking you simple questions. Like I said, it's going right back to you. Okay, you're asking me a question. I don't have no problem with that. But I'm saying when you ask me a question and I say two words, you cut me off. Okay, though. No, I'll answer my question. How does Joel three I'll, tie into your? Again, yes. How does Joel three tie into your transatlantic slave trade? Please go ahead and explain. Because when I started this 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 argument with you, you said that the people in Greece are the Grecians. Am I right? Yes, a nation. Okay then. Yes. Are they are ethnic group? The Grecians are not English. They're not Spaniards. They're not I Portuguese. They're not anything. But they are. A Okay, so what you're saying are you're naming groups that is ethnic group, but these people are not ethnic groups. I don't understand what you're asking me a question. You said that you're going to answer my question. You're, you're not, not answering my on, question, man. brother. You're, you're, you're asking me a question. Okay. I asked you All a question, right. and now you're asking me a question. No, answer my question. Show me how the hell Joel 3 has to do with anything about the transatlantic slave trade. Show me how you were sold to the Greeks in your transatlantic slave trade that is a one nation it doesn't say that that Tyrese and Sidon sold you to Esau if it said Esau then you could make the case of the Europeans all of the Europeans okay what I'm trying but you to can't say do is, that I'm just showing you their ethnic group of people you could say they're this, okay they're okay they're, they're eth okay okay they're ethnic group of people that. Let let's go with that this. argument go ahead they're ethnic group of people go ahead now tie it in this. Are they white people? Do they have melanin in their skin? So they have a phenotype. So that would make them an ethnic group. Yes. Separate, go ahead, right? go ahead, go a ahead. A tribe, a nation. Okay, go so ahead. Stop playing game, King. Go ahead. What color are they? I don't understand what any... Again, you're asking me questions. You I'm, I'm, I'm answer I'm answer King. my I'm question. Up no then hang up and, and everybody's going to see what a what fucking color? coward you are because I'm asking you questions and you're do you're dodging right now. You're running like a coward. I'm asking you a simple question. Show me a source how you were sold to the Greeks. Show me one.
or not Greece, but for some reason, you're telling me that these nations are Greece. And you're tying and you're trying to tie it to Joel 3. Again, it makes no sense because none of those nations are Greek nations. So how is Joel 3 about the transatlantic slave trade? Are Answer you my asking question. me a question? Yes, that's the question. Now show me how it was, because again, it had to be the Greeks. But the transatlantic okay, slave trade, on, we already on, know all on. these nations. I'm gonna, this is what I'm going to do, King. Okay? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to allow you to teach. I'm going to allow you to Thank read you. and Thank break down the scriptures Thank you. from Joel 3, 1 to 6. And as a student, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to be quiet and I'll ask the questions after. Is that fine? No. Because okay. I asked, again, what would you again, like again, me to do? again, again, I didn't bring you to Joel 3. I have but no. But you're asking, no, I, I, you I, said again, show me I, in again, Joel 3. Again, That's what you said. Think. Jeez, man. This is what we're talking about. You said, show me in Joel 3 that you were sold to the Grecians. Yes. Show me what you said. Show, yes, I'm, okay. And I said, question. could you read? And I said, I'm going to be okay. quiet. Okay. You're going to read, okay. and you're going to break down from Joel 3, chapter 1 to 6, and give me an understanding on my Joel misunderstanding. 3. Joel 3, okay. All right. Behold, in those days... And in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations, and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And I will plead, <clears throat> and I will plead for them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. I parted my I, and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people, and given a boy for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine that they may drink. Yea, what do they have to do with me, O Tyre and Sidon, and all the coast of Palestine? Will thy recompense me? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and gold and carried it onto the temples, my godly, pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of, of Jerusalem have ye sold onto the Grecians, that ye mm -hmm. might remove them far from their borders. Now, I would like to bring up the part of verse 4. And it says, And ye, what do you have to do with me, O Tyree? And Sidon. Who is Tyree and Sidon? Could we start at two? Let's do it. Let's let's walk with it. I will let's also. Start two let's verse, walk with it from two. Let's walk with it from two to I six. I will also gather all nations. I will bring. You said the Grecians are people from Greece. 
we're talking about, I wanted to be specific, so even all over the place, we wanted to know who are the Greece, are they ethnic group? Right? Yes. So we, when we get to this point, we would understand and we wouldn't have this argument if we had this conversation before. Like you agree, the Grecians are people from Greece. Unless they want to change your mind here, or is it my misunderstanding? No, it is Greece. That's exactly what it says, that you sold it to the Grecians. Okay. So let me ask Greece. you a question, Ken, and then you could take it over again. Go ahead. Are the, are the ethnic group, and is there a, 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 mel, lack, a melanin tone in their skin? They're from, the, the Grecians are from the, are from the nation of Esau. Yes. Straight up, straight up, they're white people. They are from the nation of Esau. A Thank nation. you very much. Thank you. Okay. No, right. one, no one's disagreeing so with that. So again, we know that the Africans went in the interior of the continent and brought us out and sold us to the Arabs. Then the Arabs took us to the, 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 the slave port. Where is that? Brother, where, 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 brother, until the Greece, but brother, where is are that? You in, but, but, are you interrupting where, me? Where, uh, are you interrupting me? Because, you're, you're, interrupting because, you're, me because everything you're saying is not in the scripture. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the hell you're talking about. Where you, you talk about, you've got Africans sold you to the Arabs. Where is that? Where is that in Joel 3? I don't get why you're even saying these things. Could you read Joel 3 verse 4, please? Yes, thank you. I don't see anything about Arabs here. This is crazy. You said verse, three, Joel, three, verse four, please. Three, verse four. And you, what have you had to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon and all the coast of Palestine? Okay, who's Tyree and who's Canaanites? Hmm? Canaanites. That's who it is. That's who sold the so-called um um Israelites to Greece, the Greeks. Not thank you. Not not. The Spaniards, not the English, not all those nations. That is not Greek. And all I wanted to sub it up, I didn't want to say white people, and I wanted to work on the ethnic group. That's why. I but not all. Uh, again, just like so you said, you brother. Have, just like you, you said. Didn't have to hold on, you. But brother, you said shit. earlier that there were different nations in Africa, and not all of them are the same, and everything like that. Same thing with the so-called Europeans. Spaniards are yes. not English. I English agree. are not Irish. Irish yes. are not okay then. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Greeks I are not English. But so, allow me to speak. I agree with you. Okay, so I, I just then need to I just need to understand the same. they're different ethnic. Groups I just need to understand them. just like why... Japan and China. Stop, let me speak, come on. But what I'm trying to tell you is we were sold to white people. Am I right? I don't care if you call them Greek, no, Roman. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna no, 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 no. You're not answering I'm my question. To, see, I'm trying to, but you won't stop. I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm going to ask you one more time then. Show me how the Greeks is all of white people. Go ahead. Again, who did the Arabs sell? Do you hear him? He's asking me a question. I asked him a question, but now he's asking me a fucking question. You see what I'm talking about? enough to... You see what I'm saying? This guy is a fucking okay, what's, idiot. What's he don't want to learn. He's a fucking idiot. Hold on, hold on. I'll tell you what's going on. It's reverse psychology. No, it's I'm not reverse psychology. Say, it's stop. not reverse psychology. Stop. What you're not doing is Holy answering shit. the damn question. Listen, why do you do that? I'm speaking. Why do you do that? Because you're I'm a lying demon right now. You're being a lying demon. You're talking about all oh, tactics and stuff like that. 
That's not no. It's in your spirit. I'm you're lying. You're, your you're, I'm t- and I've been I'm testing your. I'm, I've been testing your spirit, and you're spirit. adding to the. And you're adding to the prophecy. You're trying, you're trying to make. Right you're trying to make Spaniards and everybody right. Greeks. They're they're not Greeks, no. brother. They're not I'm Greeks. Asking, so what the I hell is your point? Listen, 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 I'm asking listen, you, what please. the hell is your point? I don't want you stop for a second. I do not. 